and three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. This is a movie review for perhaps the best movie of all time. I'm calling it right now, best movie of all time. Uh, we checked out Avengers uh, Endgame. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so typically with these movie reviews, we're going to score it, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to rescore it to see if one of us swayed the other person's decision okay. making. So, uh, Vish, you go first. What was your score? You already know mine. Uh, I don't remember yours. Um, no, no you, you know my opinion. Of oh, it. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Opening with best movie of all time. Uh, best movie of all time. I had a hard time deciding on my score. Okay. Um, Would you start off with it was the best movie of all time? Because I'm pretty sure it was the best movie of all time. Uh, as an Avengers movie? Sure, yeah. Ouch. Just as an Avengers movie. Okay. Um, but I don't know. I had a struggle with finding the right score for me between, I don't know, like, I don't know why I was thinking seven and a half. Ooh, okay. Wow. Or really? eight. Yeah. That's funny, eh? Because, like... I it, had a hard time. It's like left and right because like the there's a guy I saw you like gave it six point five. Right. So I was like, whoa, that's pretty low. Mm-hmm. Okay, so seven and a half or eight? That's yours. So we can go with seven and a half. Oh, I'll eight. stick with eight. All right, eight, eight. I'm gonna give this two hundred out of ten. Okay. So um, <laughs> best movie of all time. All right. Okay, so this movie hit all of the things that I would expect from a really good movie. Okay. Insane action, drama, and method acting. Okay. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. The one thing I guess it would be missing for putting it against like other movies like Pirates of the Caribbean is like the, but I guess there was some. There's mm-hmm. like um, spiritual analogies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Um, I felt like that was the only thing that this didn't really. Actually, no, there were spiritual analogies. There were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, so best movie of all time. <laughs> okay, um, but it didn't feel like a three-hour movie at all. Did you notice that as well? I think I did feel the time. Oh, really, eh? Yeah. Oh, I didn't feel it at all. Yeah. It felt like everything was like a logical next progression. So to me, I was like, okay, they're going to go here, and it's like, oh, they did go here. The biggest thing – all right, this is a huge spoiler. Movie reviews always have spoilers. Uh, well, in, yeah, yeah, this is full disclosure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so in the beginning – when they killed Thanos right away, I was like, wait, is that it? And then I thought, right. like, maybe they're just going to, like, it, it's sort of like, we all thought it was going to be this crazy war with Thanos, but it's actually about how they recuperate after Thanos's like, mass destruction. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, so that was pretty intense. But what I really liked was the method acting from Robert Downey Jr. in the beginning. Okay. Like, he seemed very skinny for the role. Yeah, it was, uh, well, I don't know if he actually did it, but, uh, uh, no, just that, um, uh, like, it was really cool to see that. Like, of course that would be, that would happen. What, him? Yeah, he's, in, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, he, yeah. He, and then, like, when he came back from space, he was, like, super skinny, and I was like, oh, wow, you, like, really dove into this role. Mm-hmm. So, um, maybe he wanted to give, like, a proper send-off to his character. Spoiler, he dies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe that that could have been what was it, you know? It was, um, it was like, yeah, it was foreshadowing it throughout the movie. It, there was a lot of foreshadowing, actually, especially yeah. the biggest foreshadow is when uh, Doctor Strange wouldn't tell them um, what it was. Like, Tony kept asking, like, oh, is this the thing... One in 14 million or Yeah, something. and then he's like, if I tell you, it won't happen. It's like, yeah, of course, because then you're going to be thinking too much of, like, will I give up my... Mm-hmm. But what I really liked was, like, even though they kept trying to portray Tony as, like, a selfish character. Like, if you watch the first movie, he seems super selfish but until it, he realized uh, the error yeah, yeah. of his ways. Well, it, it was... It, it was... Um it was shown in many movies, actually. Yeah, yeah, totally. Right? Then, it, it, even there was a line in, in one of the past, I'm not sure if it was Avengers or one of those other movies, that Captain America said to him that he's he wouldn't sac- do any like sacrifice, like that kind of thing. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So, so I was watching a thing that was... Um, <clears throat> breaking down the psychology? Uh, checking all the like the Easter eggs and stuff. Oh, that's cool. And one of those was that like he, he would not put himself up for sacrifice. W- which is interesting, like... So, like, he, the thing I like about Tony Stark is he's a, um, 
But maybe that's why he was right to not tell him what he was going to do. For sure, yeah, no, totally. Because maybe he wouldn't have done it. Um, so, like, Tony, in terms of his psychology, it seems like he's battling with two versions of himself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, throughout that. Throughout movie, the yeah. whole, no, the whole series. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Because, yeah. like, in the beginning, he, in the, if you watch the first movie, he was super into, like, um, profiteering and stuff and then he realized oh my weapons are the ones that are being used against the good as right, well right, right? My, my weapons were meant to protect right mm. and then like after realizing that he had like a crisis within himself yeah you know and then he became Iron Man right right so like and then you watch this one it's like at his core he's a good person but it's only when his mind gets involved that he actually um stops right. and like forces like tries to pursue the greedy path mm-hmm. which is often the case you know when you start thinking logically about something you're like wait shouldn't this be mine but like inherently he's a good person and this is what it showed like right. from the first movie it's like when he saw the evil of his ways he mm-hmm. changed and then from this one he was like split second decision making he sacrificed himself without even thinking about it yeah. you know what I mean that's what I mean at his core he's a good person yeah yeah. I mean, that's why he chose to help them, right? Yeah, even even when... He couldn't um, stop thinking about it. Yeah, when when they're like, oh, he's like, oh, I solved the... Um, the the time. The, yeah, t- yeah, yeah, the, the, time the, the time issue. Yeah. And then his wife was like, you know, like, he's like, oh, I could just leave it alone. But she knew he couldn't leave it alone because, yeah. again, battling two demons. Yeah. There's like... He, he's like the perfect character archetype of, like, the story of the two wolves. Like, mm-hmm. which one are you going to feed? The good yeah. or the evil? Yeah. You know? Because he's the... Potential and power to do both. Yeah, you're gonna say. Yeah, so, I mean, like the, with that end scene, um, which is interesting, was to see. Um, uh, it, it basically, it was the opposite of what happened at the end of Infinity War, right? Like when uh, Tony uh, lost Spider-Man, but it was when you saw. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of those. Um, You've been grappling with that guilt for a long time. Yeah, for those five years. Yeah. Six, like. Yes. Yeah, five. Yeah. yeah, it was five. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I I liked a lot of those things. I did see a lot of those things. But I, I think it was more, I, I guess, I don't know if it was meshing. Like, some of these characters that we thought we were, maybe I thought too much of it, I guess. Like, Captain Marvel didn't feel like we necessarily, necessarily needed her, only for that end bit. But it's like, uh, like some of those sort of things. Oh yeah, that yeah, I yeah. Had, uh, yeah. True. I, I I see what you mean. Like she was like insanely powerful. I was actually talking to uh, Ray about this one. Mm. How like she came in, she destroyed ev- the ship with ease, and then she comes down. They're like, "How are you gonna get through all those?" Yeah. Well, the kind of like, question wait, was that. Yeah. Like what? She just, I just, just destroyed shit. the entire ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's almost like a it, like Disney wanted to put in some sort of like women empowered. Yeah. Of course, there. all of them. It was all women yeah, in that one. Yeah. So it's like, hmm, all right. Well, that's fine. That's fine to do that. Um, it was just that um, I didn't feel like the the mesh with some certain characters, I guess. Certain, just like it didn't. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I, the fight was still epic. It was a pretty like a war. It as made a, me think of uh, the latest episode of Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. It was like, Sunday. damn. It, it had the exact same feeling, and like how Thanos is there and then like okay we're gonna fight all these guys I was like oh right. you guys are screwed bro <laughs> and then all of a sudden they came back and then hordes and hordes of good guys came right to battle that was sick uh what was interesting well also was uh like they weren't afraid to call back on some of the old movies like Back to the Future those things that involved time even though they mm, yeah, yeah true um they threw shade at Back to like, the Future you mean like reference yeah referencing yeah, yeah. those ones but then they followed the similar thing to Back to the Future too. That's what I was reading. Oh really? Why? Yeah, like to not to to, you know Interfere. Uh, interfere with your character. Like they were still doing the same thing, even though they said it doesn't work like that or something. Like that. Right. But they still did the same thing right. as Back true, to the Future too. Yeah, but yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. No, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying it was just funny. Uh like that they threw shade but then they followed the same thing. <laughs> but but it didn't change no the thing about the Back to the Future was that it would change history, but it doesn't change history. No, um, they, what they did was the same thing as them. Yeah, yeah. no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they did, yes, but like 
um, the logical argument was different in both scenarios. So in one, it was like, it will change No, I mean, history. they follow the plot or something. Oh, like similar. encountering. Like to, yeah, oh, I get what to you're like saying. hide away from yeah. leaving your self or all that sort of stuff, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but overall, I mean, it's still good. I think eight, my eight score is good. I guess it's, it's some of the scenes, I guess. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what it was. I don't know why I didn't feel... Like what you felt. I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Nah. I'm still trying to find out why. I, I, what did you think about uh, Thanos' philosophy? I So that was the thing. I, I still agreed, agreed with it. I was like, oh, man, I'm Thanos still with you. A lot. <laughs> yeah, and then when he was like, he was like, oh, you guys are, like, annoying. You keep coming back, so I'm yeah. going to take enjoyment out of it. Like, he's right. like, it was never personal, but this right. one I'll take enjoyment out of it. Right. And it was like, I get it. I get what you're trying to do. And mm-hmm. even when they found Thanos on that other island and he like he even destroyed the stones cuz he's like I don't want to fall into greed. Like temptation. Yeah. Remember that? So I was like, "Oh, you're a good character. Mm-hmm. You're literally just trying to do what you believe is correct and they're trying to do what they believe is correct." But that's what a good there's, villain is though, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, totally. There's no there's no black and white in this movie. It's like areas of gray that we're fighting in. It's like yeah. who is correct, who is wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting to think that this all started back in 2008 with Tony Stark's movie, like yeah. Iron Man, and then it finally came to conclusion. It was like 22 movies later, right? Yeah, and and I was Some saying like how um, this watching this movie was kind of like, oh, I like it almost felt like when I was when I first saw this movie back in 2008, and then they like started like hinting at all these other movies. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'll never get to see the end of it. Like it'll just it'll never end, you know. Like, I'll, like, probably pass away before it ends because, like, I don't know, like, you know? And then, like, after seeing it, it's like, oh, it's done. It had that feeling of, like, finality. Yeah. You know, like... Of the ones that we grew up, yeah. Yeah, you know, I I could watch this block and I'm, like, done. Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, what's very interesting, um, I was also watching about or reading about, like, was uh, they they knew their um, general idea of where they want to go. Mm-hmm. But it was first to focus on making good movies, right? Right, right, right. Then try to connect them all. Wow, that's crazy. So that's how they... I think this is where DC falls apart, right? In their right, films, right, that yeah. they tried to make it all... like Connect. Connect it, but it good. was just n- not done well. But. What what I thought was interesting in terms of like um, making good movies and stuff and like watching the cameos of the past people, yeah. I was watching uh, the like why certain mm. actors are not in the Marvel movies anymore. And one of them was like Natalie Portman and like yeah. allegedly it was because uh, she liked the director so she signed on for Thor and then they got rid of that director so she was pissed and then she like didn't want to come back for the other movies. Yeah. You know? And then like... So that was it, the director for Wonder Woman actually. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why she decided to come back. I don't know, whatever, whatever her thing is. But like, yeah. they they did like a um, interview with her, and they're like, "Oh, would you ever come back?" And then she's like, um, "I wouldn't be opposed to coming back," you know. Mm-hmm. And then when I saw her in this movie, I was like, "Oh, there it is!" Like, right. but it would've been funny if they went back in time. They saw like Edward Norton as like Hulk, and they made like a little joke mm-hmm. about it, or like Terrence Howard. I right. thought that's what they were gonna do. Like, I was like, "Yo, you guys uh, go back. You guys are going so far back. Just make sure you don't go back to two because they never." went near 2008 right so i was like okay cool remember when they were jumping to like different right, times yeah. i'm not sure if they did come back in the film or they used footage that wasn't used before or um Maybe. like for natalie portman because there really? wasn't really much scenes like there was scenes but then were they footage that wasn't used or uh or there was things filmed that was not put in maybe True, yeah. Well, whatever you said. But she was rights. there. She was the there at the premiere, her. though. So. Oh, she was. Yeah. Oh, so there yeah. you go. So she was, um, like, of course they had to like ask her again or. Yeah, for sure. Something like that. So. Ooh, uh, one of the interesting points was like, back to like psychological stuff. Um, Tony Stark was suffering with PTSD after seeing like Thanos's capabilities. Yeah. But it's interesting how it's like, again, fractals. So like, because he saw Thanos's thing. Um, he like he decided to like protect the earth and that created like a divide mm-hmm. remember like 
because like Captain America versus Iron Man. There was a whole civil war. Yeah, yeah. Situation. Yeah. And then, um, and then like seeing him grapple with his P- PTSD, and then now you see Thor grappling with his PTSD. Yeah. That was so fascinating. Like he was like out of shape, and mm. then they were like, like I understand, like you're afraid too. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it was like yeah. he's like, why would I be afraid? I killed him. But it was like you killed him in a moment of weakness. Well, when yeah. yeah, when he was, like Thanos was already done. Like, oh, well, I already finished what I needed to do. So it's like yeah. So why you kill him? It's yeah. like yeah, totally. Yeah, it was yeah. That was very interesting. I like the psychological components to the Marvel movies. Yeah, I think that is good that they do have that. Like, it, I mean, there was part of. Um, I'm not sure. Like the first, I don't know, 25 percent of the movie was once when they go five years later, and then you're seeing their. Like what's yeah, yeah how they're yeah, dealing yeah. with yeah. the situation and like how Captain America is like leading that focus group yeah or like not focus group but like that like meeting like AA kind of meeting yeah that was really really interesting and I like how they they made that guy that he's speaking to like gay but you didn't actually yeah know it like he was like yeah. I went on a date and you're like okay and then he's like oh me and him are getting and I was like oh wow you're like like breaching all you're trying to be super mm. inclusive you know yeah the Disney movies yeah I like that that was cool. And when they made that joke about like America's ass, that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, it, it, that that was a good. I guess so. That like yeah, with all this, uh, even like um, sadness in a sense. But they did bring in, I think, jokes that fit in. Yeah, for sure. That um, made it fun to still be part of that movie. Like, well, I, I I really liked how um, Captain America, he like his send off was that he decided to you know, marry his wife, mm-hmm. like a, not wife, <laughs> that girl that he loved. And then yeah. like, cause he, he was like struggling with that for so long. Right. And he's like, but it was like a perfect send off. Cause like he always wanted to go back to his time. Cause he loved that girl. Yeah. And then this is his opportunity. He took it. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was really, really cool. Yeah. You know? Like that was, that was probably, I think send-off. these are, uh, yeah, exactly. Proper send offs for these people that we've been watching for a long time. Yeah, I think the reason why I gave it a 200 out of 10 was because I remember, like, it was during my, like, formative years of watching, like, being in business school. And then Mm -hmm. the first time I ever saw Iron Man, I was like, oh, this is the guy that I'd like to mirror, like, some of my characteristics off of. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you're such a genius. Like, so then I was like, okay, let me study hard and stuff. And then for for it to hit this point where it's, like, it's a proper send-off, I think that's why it hits so home to me because mm-hmm. of the nostalgia feel. Like I remembered so much of how much I idealized Tony Stark's character. Right. And then to watch him like come full circle, be the person he was meant to be, yeah. have a family, be a great dad. And then just like, like go out on a high mm-hmm. was like, that was the perfect way to end it. Even though he did die, it was very sad, but it was like you either, you know, die early or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it was perfect. You became the hero, done mm-hmm. with your story. Right. Yeah. Best yeah. movie of all time. Okay. I almost want to go back and watch all of them now. Because like, well, not all of them, just the Tony Stark ones. Because yeah. like, I really love that character. Mm-hmm. But not like, like, there's some ones that I was kind of like, uh, like, I didn't really, I've never seen Thor number one. Oh really? I I can't finish it. It's <laughs> I've seen like the beginning. I'm just like I gotta turn it off. Right. It's not for me. Right. Right. But Thor two. Th- I think we talked about that too. Like now that Thor. Is, oh, I'm so now excited. That they ended with Thor hanging out with the as Gar- or the Guardians, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that was and it was so funny. <laughs> he he fits perfectly with that that team. Right. You know. Yeah. Like his comedic value is like so high. But you never expect it because of the way he like looks. Yeah, you know. Well, now that the way he looks wouldn't be funny. <laughs> true, true, true. But like that actor. Yes. You know, like. That's true. He's. You'd think he'd be like a leading man kind of thing, and then like, to see him in this is like, wait, oh, this is your true personality. Mm. You know. Right. I really, really liked it. That's, oh yeah. That's pretty stoked. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anything else? Uh. I mean, uh, other thing like they really did have a good send off for uh, Iron Man, though. Like, I was wondering how they would exactly end it, and especially with the the message he had for the, the oh first yeah, kid first kid. oh yeah. Oh, the thing and with the kid the too thing. was also foreshadowed in past movies. What do you mean? Uh, in the past, 
I'm not sure if it was in the Avenger Infinity War or the one before, but uh, he was telling uh, is it Pepper Potts? Yeah. Uh huh. That he had a dream that they had a daughter and her name was really yes. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. True. And that was the name that they gave her. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. I I liked how he, that was his like biggest salvation when he he said like yeah I'll help you guys get the stones but we changed nothing about this timeline. Right. I yeah. was like that's pretty sweet. And then it was oh when it was cool when she it's hard to direct kids though. I know. She was I, so I, like I, of course. You know, she wasn't sad that her dad died. It's it's very hard to No, 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 but it, but uh the innocence even, I get it. I get but it. even then the kids at that age wouldn't understand what that meant. Yeah, I I get it. I get it. But it's just like right. it seemed like hard for the act. You know what I mean? Like being an actor mm-hmm. like uh James Favreau or whatever. Yes. And then him like John Favreau, I think. John Favreau, yeah. And then him like trying to act beside her he was like really sad and then she was so aloof and it was like oh this is coming across like kind of hard but i get it because she wouldn't understand you're right but like Mm -hmm. it just felt a little weird but whatever so then um it was it was funny how um how like he's like what do you want to eat and she's like cheeseburgers Mm -hmm. and it it brought you back to the first movie yeah because like when he came back from the afghanistan or whatever and then he's like i want a cheeseburger (laughs) Right. God, I gotta watch those movies. Those are s- Iron Man's the best character of all time, yo. It was I, good. To, I lost a little faith in him during like the Avengers when he became like kind of evil, but then, yeah. But that was the whole. But that was the point. This right. thing, yeah, it was the whole plot for this for his character. But it was meant to like. It was meant to. Like, it was his PTSD. Yeah. That brought him, you know. Because yes. it was something he couldn't solve. Right. Right. It, right. Yeah, actually, that's probably why yeah. it was so hard for him because like. He didn't have PTSD when he went to like Afghanistan. No. Remember when he was captured? Yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, I'm back. Let's let's move forward. Mm-hmm. But like, this is the one problem he couldn't find the solution to in his head. Right. Yeah. And then that was it. Uh, that was before uh, Civil War, right? Yeah. Then Civil War came, and then the clash again. He was like, damn. Yeah. Avengers was yeah. when it first happened, and then all those aliens came, and he's like, what's going on? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then he couldn't. Then did, he tried to solve it with Didn't he, like, Civil log War. into something? Like, remember his, like, psyche? How did he see the future? What was that? I don't know. He had... I'm not sure exactly how his visions so I came to be. I can check that out again. Yeah. But, like, it was something, like, he interacted with the stone, maybe? Impossible. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow he got those visions, and he... That's why he kept uh, doing what he did. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's really... Best movie of all time. Uh, the thing that I found was, uh, I, uh, like, really cool was to see. Uh, it's also called back in in the in the comics was uh, Captain America using the hammer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was like that was hinted at a long time ago too. Yeah, your brother if was you saying that. Your your brother was saying that like in that one scene, like he tried to pick up the hammer and yeah, it shook remember? a little bit. Remember? Yeah, he moved a little bit, and then you like the camera like went to focus on Thor, mm-hmm. like he knew something was up. Uh, and then uh, when he picked it up, he's like, "I knew it." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that was a callback to. Uh, I think that was Ultron movie. Sick. Yeah, Ultron Avengers. And, that's when that was. And it was up. amazing to watch him like use it. That oh, was yeah. so good. Honestly, then, like uh, <laughs> that movie was so good. I, I don't understand, man. That movie was so good. Right. It was good. It was good because I mean, it's all uh, if it's, like we we grew up watching those things. I would seen, watch it again, man. Um, so good. Yeah. I do want to like those particular scenes were really really the, fun. To watch. The only thing that I was like, oh, that was kind of weird that she cut her hair. That. Right, um, right. But yeah. I think they're gonna go into that in her own series. But like that's also like a new look from her. Um, sh- her comics in the comics sorry right 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 yeah yeah, yeah yeah but like I think we'll go into it later yeah I think but think so the also. only thing is like um, she was so underutilized in that movie that's what I'm saying yeah like but the... I liked it too though it was like it was their problem to solve but if if Thanos uh, yeah. was the biggest yeah. problem in the universe then like she better have been dealing with an even more intense crisis if like right yeah, but I don't think like Okay, so now looking forward, mm. looking forward into the new um, future characters, yeah. who would you attach to? The only person I see like, there's only two characters that I'm like interested in watching the movies for. Mm. Oh, three, three, 
Ant-Man, um, Black Panther, and Spider-Man. Right. But I don't care about any of the other characters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, whereas, like, in the old ones, it's like, I cared about... Because those were, like, formative characters. Yeah. Those were, like, important yeah. ones. So, like, you cared about all of them. Right, right. You know? But I, I don't really see... Like, who are you going to latch on to as being your next Robert Downey? Uh, I don't know, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see where they go now in their yeah. next phases. They have a plan, though, as they had a plan for this. Like, a general idea. But I wonder, you think it's going to be... Or even, be... like, who is the big the big villain, too? Yeah, totally, totally. I wonder if it's going to be, like... Um, I wonder if it's going to be, like, now there's... It probably is going to be like this. But, like, when they started Iron Man, right? Like, and then that was our... That was our generation's movie set, yeah. and then it ended now. And it's like now they're gonna like market to the next generation. Yeah. But will that be as much care for us as it is for them? You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like when I watched Iron Man, I like I felt like a sense of like connection because it was during our time. Right. But then like for this new series, will I want to watch every single movie? Just mm-hmm. like you know what I mean? Uh, Thor's movie right. actually Guardians of the Galaxy alright so that's four. but that's still part of the the tree trilogy that they're doing yeah what do you mean wait trilogy like the old the old ones right uh, no of, of the sorry Guardians because that's the volume three right like we've watched the other two yeah yeah true 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 that's yeah that's what I'm but like Guardians still came Guardians is like the midpoint this is is almost like Iron Man was like beginning Mm -hmm. then all of a sudden these characters got added midway through like um guardians was like point two Mm -hmm. and then like black panther was the beginning of three yeah so now we're in like a whole now this is a whole new set of characters all the people from one are gone yeah two are kind of around it's Mm -hmm. like the guardians of the galaxy and then three are now we're starting with three boom whole new generation whole new market yeah how are we gonna like and like the way it's going i don't feel a Mm -hmm. sense of connection personally because like when iron man came out there was like a lot of um it was very still kind of loose right so like his humor was very like raw like our 90s humor yeah but then now with like captain marvel (laughs) being like the champion of like series three yeah it's like so much inclusivity you know liberal power and it's like uh, a lot of things yeah have changed you know what I mean like when these movies came out yeah that's true like that whole that one scene where when we go back to it where like she didn't need their help but like why were you all standing there right but it's because like women empowered yeah so it's kind of like I'm not <laughs> that's, that's like a new generation psychology kind of thing like, right it's not really my generation's mm-hmm. you know Iron Man Tony Stark was my generation's our generation's yes. psychology yes yeah so that's what I'm saying, like new marketing tactics. Like, will we just find it cheesy because we know where it came from? You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Whereas all the people of today will be like, oh my God, inclusivity. Which I think is a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Like, right, right, right. there's a lot of bullying back in our time. I'm sure there's a lot of bullying now, but like, mm-hmm. they're like cracking down on bullying more than they did when we were kids or like formative. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess. Any last final thoughts? Anything else that uh, you thought was, uh, or callbacks, in a sense? Um, Sticked out to you. I'm still trying to figure out what, I don't know what it is I didn't, it's not that I didn't like it, or why I not, you know, can't go higher than what I'm going at, what my score is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I thought that was cool, uh, Jarvis. Right, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Or him meeting his father. Him meeting his father, and then Jarvis was the butler. Yes. Just yeah, like that was he, cool. He made and Jarvis the... his butler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta watch. I mean, we Iron finally Man got to see who, what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. I gotta watch an Iron Man number one. That was so amazing. But it was cool that he like he atoned for all of his like sins and like his right. psychological yeah. problems, like him and his father, and then like they mended, mm-hmm. and then he died. It was a perfect send off. I thought it was great. Oh yeah, yeah. I think the whole thing was focused around Tony Stark. And, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to say was um, just knowing how hard it is to film. It must have been really difficult to do that one take, one take of like when he was like his, they were like putting his Tony Stark has a heart. That was cool. That was like that right, back yeah. to the first movie. But like it was, 
it was cool how not cool sorry it must have been really difficult to make everyone hold their character mm-hmm. as the the camera panned around yeah you know that was a difficult scene i was like oh wow this, this must have been hard to film oh yeah yeah because if times, one person breaks, you gotta start from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times when you do that too, it's like uh, when they pass the first set, then they're like, like they gotta move out of the way because the yeah. camera's gotta go yeah, in there, yeah. and then it's like everyone's gotta still hold face. The ones still in shot. Yeah, it must be so difficult to be an actor. Like you, you have to jump into your uh, imagination. Mm-hmm. Your imagination ability must be so high as an actor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I commend that. That's actually one of like the pursuits of yogiism or like mm-hmm. yoga okay like to to be able to like harness your um imagination so strongly yeah you know so it's like they're all doing it so you know that's yeah, why i'm like yeah, yeah. fascinated by watching actors right, right, it's like right. wow you're actually able to you know like yeah so they, yeah i mean it was good they brought everyone from all the basically all the movies in this yeah end game uh one, Doctor right. Strange and like all Strange, that. but even like uh, the Valkyrie. Yeah, no, uh, it's amazing. Um, Ant Man, Wasp. Ant Man, the Wasp. Yeah, I was exactly, so confused yeah. though when uh, the female Iron Man came out. I was like, wait. I turned to my sister. I was like, like <laughs> was, was she in a different movie? I can't remember. And it was like, oh, it's Pepper Potts. Oh, yeah, damn. Exactly. But like, it's but also that, a callback it in the comics. She did have that too. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, it it's sort of like this. It's sort of like this because they did something similar in the comics now, mm-hmm. where like if I were to pick up a comic and read it, I'd be so lost. I'd be like, these are true. not the characters I grew up with. Yeah, 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 very true. You know, and that's kind of where we're headed now. It's like, why is Pepper Pot? Like you, ha- you would have had to watch from the beginning to understand this whole arc, right? Whereas like when they market it to kids now who won't be watching from the beginning, they'll all be thinking like. So, like, think from a kid from this generation, right? All these movies are coming out. They're like, oh, my God, Pepper Potts mm-hmm. is this Iron Woman and, like, all this. Oh, Captain America's amazing, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, when they get older, they're, like, in their 20s. And then you're like, oh, actually, there's a whole catalog before this, guys. And then yeah. they're like, wait, what? <laughs> and then they get to watch all that again. Right, you know what I mean? Right, right. I think that's kind of cool to, to like, it's almost like you've, you've tapped into a source, mm-hmm. you know, it's sort of like it's sort of like when I'm when I like start studying yoga and I'm like wait there's all this backlog of like books I can read, oh yeah yeah you know but it's been happening for yeah. so long you yeah. just didn't catch up until now right so yeah fascinating yeah but that's what all stories are though right it's like they're trying to teach you something tell you something and there's always like a story to the story that's being been created right you know oh yeah yeah of course yeah, yeah. Uh, it was it was a good uh, at the end too I just like the like the credits was. Having all the the old characters like kind of yeah, that was their really cool. send off too. So I don't like the well that fight scene when they were trying to decide who was gonna die for the soul stone. That was amazing. Oh right, yes. So that was the thing I wanted to um, just remind me. Like wait, but before we continue, okay. Hawkeye's amazing tattoos. I was like, that was <laughs> sick. I was like, why do I want to get those? Now? <laughs> I knew you were gonna look at those. I was like, ooh, look at that samurai tattoo. Right, nice color. Right. I'm like, mm, should I get uh, that? <laughs> so um, the thing was. Um, so in Infinity War, uh, what uh, Thanos did was uh, he was ready to uh, uh, sacrifice others for his cause. Yeah. Uh, but in this one, it was self-sacrifice. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so out of like for the Soul Stone for some right, others. right, right, yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, yeah, that was. So we can safely say that Black Widow's movie is going to be a past movie. I would think it's the origin, yeah. That's kind of weird because she's probably going to look really old. Uh, but movie magic, I don't know. True. <laughs> That'd be kind of corny if they're like, oh, she actually came back because of all the love that we were all missing. I but that was cool when Hulk, no, but yeah. Hulk, Hulk was like, no, I tried. I tried using the stones to, to bring, bring her, her back, back and I couldn't do it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, because you needed to sacrifice it. Yeah. But they brought Gamora back, so why can't they just go back in time and then bring... Black Widow back. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's like time jumps. Just bring Tony back. People can live forever. Yeah, because they brought Gamora would, back. Uh, yeah, but uh, it did not have... That's right. Wait, that past changed then? No, no, no. Because that past became the future. 
Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because she died. Yeah. So she would have had no future. So they, yeah, true. I don't know. I mean, Bottle. now that... Uh, because that, that was, yeah, that, that was some of the things. Like, uh, what's her name again? The blue one? Because why can they do that to every character then? Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, what was her name again? Nebula? Yeah. Who shot herself? Who shot the past self of yeah. her? Oh, did she die? I thought she was going to die. But like they said, it's like the... You're just jumping back in time. I don't know. But that that, that was times when you're. I think I think that's where where my thing was. Like I was trying to figure out what it was, and maybe the no was no one no. You know things. what it is? It's alternate realities. No no no. I I get what's going on. No no no. Because we're watching it from their time, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. like in an alternate reality, that that uh, blue person mm-hmm. died, and her story's done. Right. But we're watching it from this blue person story. Yeah. So it's like when he said, like, nothing will change the future. It's like, no, nothing will change your future. But the other thing. The alternate right. reality. But the other thing is now in this, in this future, the stones don't exist anymore. Yeah, exactly. But she said the stones need to exist in order to keep balance in the universe or something. Remember how she no, said no, that? No, 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 no. During their times. No. Yeah, but I'm saying in... In from the like the universe wise too, she, well, I, don't remember I that. think so. Or maybe I have to rewatch well, the, that. The 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 bald lady. Yes. No, she said like, if I give it to you in in my time, because she was saying it there. Yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah. in your time, yeah, it'll help you, but in my time, it won't help me. No, 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 so no. I, need I know, to I know. I, I want to maybe just see that again to see exactly what she said because I wonder if that uh, something to do with the universe too, like to have the stones. Why they they weren't destroyed? They were so. still kept in maybe. the universe, right? Maybe. I, I don't know, though. Um, but they aren't anymore in this universe. No, they should still be in this universe because he put them back. No, no, the they're not. Spots. But they, they're already gone. They're destroyed. Oh, right. Right, right. They were destroyed by Thanos. Yeah. Right. So you were just borrowing them. So, okay. So really what... I get it. I get it. Okay. So time is very murky when they do that. Thing. Exactly. That's why. But that's, no, 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 no. But but you have to look at it as like you're watching it from our time. View. No, 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 no. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying it. I I wasn't sure if I heard that correctly, but I want to check that again. Like, did she say that these stones need to be here in like like no, in no, the same? No, I, I remember her saying like like oh, oh, or what they do this. to the universe or something. No, no, no like sure. if you move this one stone, no, yeah, it yeah. creates a different path. Yeah. And then that's why he's like, I'll put it back. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it'll destroy the universe. Mm-hmm. Because then it would have been destroyed because Thanos already destroyed it. Right. I think uh, that was the other thing was uh, that was cool was like people were wondering like when that attack happened. Uh, wait, hold on, wait. That, that's what in... alternate realities are, actually, if you think about it. That makes logical sense. We're watching our lives from our point of view. But like if we turn left instead of right, that would have just changed that reality's thing yeah but it changes the whole thing wouldn't it no no, no it wouldn't change it wouldn't change our reality because our reality is still going forward no no yeah but it, you affected the past yeah you affected you changed the, no, no 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 you're jumping into an alternate reality so they, they call it time travel but it's actually it's actually alternate reality travel it's not time travel well it is no no no, no. all right so this is our reality this is their reality, okay? They jumped into an alternate reality of the past, took the stones, and that created an alternate reality. I, I, okay, I see what you're trying so, to right, say. No, no. All right, so, so this is their time. They <laughs> okay. jumped back. I'm going to use the past instead of saying alternate. So they jumped back to their past, yeah. which spiked an alternate reality, but for them, it's still their reality. So the people of the time that they affected, their life changed. But the ones who were following chronologically, their lives are still going forward because it's their reality. So the Gamora that's now in this reality is not this reality's Gamora. That's the Gamora of the past. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, that's what I'm saying. Alternate realities. But then that stops the past from happening though no 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 no. it just switches to a different reality that's not our reality you're just messing with different realities Uh, so okay okay okay. uh we're (laughs) faced with a choice we either go left or right yeah okay if we choose to go right that's our reality 
but there was a choice that could have gone left, which is a different reality, but that's mm -hmm. not the reality we're following in our mind. Right. And I guess that's why they're saying like in like yogic texts, it's like all realities are happening at once. Time is happening all at once. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, which one are you going to follow? Mm -hmm. Which one is your conscious awareness going to follow? So as the movie viewer, we're watching Captain America. Oh, we're watching Iron Man 1, yeah. version 1, who dies in this reality. But in version 2, he doesn't die. But that's not the version we're following as viewers. Yeah. So one choice has infinite choices, and each choice presents a different reality. So which one, as a viewer, yeah, but none are of you going to watch? But they didn't change any of the past for the other ones, you know? Like No, no, they just changed their, that reality's reality. They just changed the trajectory of it. Okay. I see what you're saying. Right? I, I see what you're saying. So they, that's, why nothing would, that's why he said like nothing would change in our time. Mm -hmm. Because, like, yeah, nothing would change because we're following us. We're not following them. So, like, us going back in time and changing it changes that version's reality, but not our own. Right. Right. I think I get it. Yeah. Wow, that was a, that was a mind blow for myself. I'm like, oh, I get it. <laughs> I get how they're doing that. Because I've, I've yeah, written... It's very tricky when you work with time. Cause I've, you got to hit all those markers. For sure, for sure. Yeah. But I've, I've written about fate before, and, like, what I believe is, like, although we have multiple paths, there's always an, a probability path where it's, like, it's going to hit this one point yeah. all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, we can always, like, go back, oh, why didn't... Uh, I was uh, why didn't uh, Doctor Strange do this do this but uh, he already knew what was the path to go right which is the path that he wanted to go yeah but like that's why I said like 14 million versions we all die yeah yeah because all time so if you could Doctor Strange it and see all time at once mm -hmm. that's what he's doing yeah. he's seeing all the probabilities he's like I'm choosing this one yeah. for himself selfishly yeah but like equally as important as if they died right you see what I'm saying yeah yeah. We should call this uh, episode like time travel <laughs> paradox. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. damn. Yeah. Anyways, solved that mystery. <laughs> so, um, any final thoughts? Um, final thoughts? I mean, it was a good move. I think, uh, I, I mean, I enjoyed it. If you watched all the other ones, you will most likely get understand. Like seeing all these characters in their final send offs, which is a good way. True, yeah. To do it. Um, best move of all time. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm saying. All, all right, right, your uh, final score? Did you change it? Uh, you know what? Let's go to 8.5. All right. <laughs> first time ever this changes the score. Okay. And not the first time ever I'm going to change mine 1,000 out of 10. Okay. Best move of all time. Yeah, all right. Yeah, especially if you watch it in conjunction with everything else. I mean, we did do that, right? Yeah, we exactly. saw all of them. Best series And of all to see, see it all come to this. I'd say now, Iron Man number one was the best movie of all time. Yeah. And so is this. But because they're so interlinked, the whole thing becomes the best series of all time. Right. Yes. Amazing. Now what's next? It, that's, a, that's, that's how the we're going to end it. Now what's next? All right, till next week. Or no, we don't do we weekly anymore. We do kind of do weekly, but we do them sporadically because of our efficiency. Maybe we'll cover the uh, Graham Hancock uh, talk that we're going to to see today yeah. in a future podcast. Yes. All right, till next time. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.